planetary motion. Experts emphasize that while Pluto and Neptune's orbits appear to intersect in two-dimensional projections, their actual three-dimensional paths prevent any real risk of collision. Additionally, Pluto is in a 3,2 orbital resonance with Neptune, meaning that for every three orbits Neptune completes around the Sun, Pluto completes two. This gravitational relationship ensures that the two celestial bodies never come close enough to collide. Nonetheless, discussions about Pluto's irregular orbit highlight the intricate gravitational interactions governing our solar system. This intricate gravitational dance has long fascinated astronomers, but recent simulations have sparked renewed debate. Some models suggest that over millions of years, gravitational perturbations from other planets, particularly Jupiter, could subtly alter Pluto's orbit. While the current resonance with Neptune prevents collisions, even minor disruptions could potentially shift Pluto into a more chaotic trajectory. In response to these concerns, space agencies and observatories worldwide have intensified their monitoring of Pluto's motion. Advanced telescopes, including the James Webb Space Telescope, are being used to track minute variations in its orbit, searching for any signs of instability. Meanwhile, the scientific community remains divided. Neil deGrasse Tyson has downplayed the risks, emphasizing that planetary resonances tend to be incredibly stable over long periods. On the other hand, Michio Kaku has suggested that unexpected gravitational influences, such as a passing rogue planet or an undiscovered Kuiper Belt object, could introduce enough disruption to force a reassessment of Pluto's long-term stability. As researchers continue their investigations, the mystery of Pluto and Neptune's orbital relationship remains a compelling case study in celestial mechanics. Could our solar system still hold surprises? For now, the answer lies in the data and in the patient work of astronomers striving to unravel the cosmos' grand design. As astronomers gathered more data, a new discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. A team of researchers analyzing deep space images from the James Webb Space Telescope detected an unknown Kuiper Belt object, KBO, on a trajectory that could potentially perturb Pluto's orbit. The object, tentatively named KBO-47X, was roughly the size of Ceres and appeared to be moving in a highly eccentric path, possibly due to past gravitational interactions with Neptune or even an undiscovered planetary body lurking beyond the known solar system. Michio Kaku, upon reviewing the initial findings, warned that if KBO-47X were to pass close enough to Pluto, it could introduce unpredictable orbital instabilities. It wouldn't happen overnight, he explained in a televised interview. But over tens of thousands of years, even a slight gravitational nudge could disrupt Pluto's resonance with Neptune, increasing the chances of orbital chaos. Meanwhile, Neil deGrasse Tyson remained skeptical. The solar system is an intricate but stable machine, he countered. Pluto and Neptune's orbital resonance has been in place for millions of years. A passing object would have to be incredibly well-positioned to cause meaningful disruption. To settle the debate, space agencies collaborated on new computer simulations, incorporating the latest positional data of both Pluto and KBO-47X. The results were startling. While most scenarios showed no immediate threat, a small percentage suggested that by the next 500,000 years, Pluto's orbit could stretch slightly closer to Neptune's path, enough to warrant further study. As the scientific community raced to refine their models, some proposed an ambitious idea, sending a probe to KBO-47X. If scientists could closely observe its composition, trajectory, and gravitational effects, they might be able to determine whether it posed any real danger to Pluto's orbit. <laughs> proposed mission, dubbed Horizon Sentinel, would be humanity's first attempt to directly study an object with the potential to influence planetary orbits. With the world watching, astronomers and engineers faced an urgent challenge. Could they launch a mission in time to gather crucial data? Or would they be forced to rely solely on Earth-based observations, hoping that the vast and complex dance of celestial bodies would continue undisturbed? As the countdown to Horizon Sentinel began, the mystery of Pluto's fate deepened, capturing the imagination of space enthusiasts worldwide. The proposal for Horizon Sentinel quickly gained traction among the world's leading space agencies. NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and even private spaceflight companies saw an opportunity not just to study KBO-47X, but to push the limits of deep space exploration. The mission would require cutting-edge propulsion technology to reach the distant Kuiper Belt object within a reasonable time frame. Some proposed a nuclear-powered ion drive while others championed solar sails that could harness the faint pressure of sunlight to gradually accelerate over vast distances. 
While engineers debated propulsion methods, astronomers worked tirelessly to refine KBO-47 XS orbital data. They determined that the object was a dark, icy world, possibly a captured fragment from the early solar system. Even more intriguing, some spectral readings hinted at the presence of complex organic compounds, raising the tantalizing question of whether this frozen rock could hold clues to the building blocks of life. As excitement built, Michio Kaku took to the airwaves again. This is more than just a mission to protect Pluto's orbit, he declared. This is a journey to the edge of our knowledge. KBO-47X may hold secrets about the early solar system and perhaps even the conditions that led to life on Earth. Meanwhile, Neil deGrasse Tyson, though still skeptical of any immediate orbital danger, acknowledged the mission's scientific value. Even if this object doesn't alter Pluto's fate, it represents an uncharted frontier. The Kuiper Belt is a fossil record of our solar system's infancy, and every rock out there tells a piece of our story. With funding secured and public excitement soaring, mission planners set an ambitious launch date. Horizon Sentinel would depart within the next decade, using gravitational assists from Jupiter and Saturn to slingshot toward its icy target. But just as everything seemed to be falling into place, a new, unexpected discovery appended the narrative. A fresh analysis of long-term orbital models suggested that KBO-47XS trajectory was not entirely natural. It exhibited slight but consistent deviations, as if an unknown force, perhaps another distant mass or even an ancient, dormant spacecraft, was subtly influencing its motion. The revelation sent a ripple of intrigue through the scientific community. Was KBO-47X merely a rogue Kuiper belt object, or was it part of something even stranger? a remnant of an ancient, forgotten era of the solar system? As Horizon Sentinel prepared for launch, the world waited, eager to uncover the truth behind the enigmatic wanderer on the outskirts of the sun's domain. As excitement and speculation swirled, the mission team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory accelerated preparations for Horizon Sentinel. If KBO-47X was being influenced by an unknown force, then time was of the essence. Some scientists theorized that an undiscovered planetary body often referred to as Planet Nine, could be tugging at the object's orbit. Others, more speculative, suggested the possibility of an ancient derelict spacecraft drifting in the Kuiper Belt, forgotten by time. To gain more clarity, astronomers aimed the most powerful radio telescopes at KBO-47X, hoping to detect unusual electromagnetic signatures. The results were baffling. A faint, repeating signal pulsed from the object's direction, too weak to be artificial, yet too structured to be random cosmic noise. The discovery sent the scientific community into a frenzy. Was this an unknown natural phenomenon, or something far stranger? With the launch window for Horizon Sentinel fast approaching, mission planners made a bold decision. The probe's objectives would be expanded. In addition to studying KBO-47 excess composition and potential effects on Pluto's orbit, it would also search for any anomalies, gravitational, electromagnetic, or otherwise, that could explain the object's peculiar behavior. Meanwhile, conspiracy theories ran wild. Some believed the object was an ancient alien artifact, a probe from a long-extinct civilization. Others speculated that humanity had simply underestimated the complexity of the outer solar system, and that KBO-47X was a missing piece in our understanding of planetary migration. Despite the swirling rumors, the mission pressed forward. On a crisp morning at Cape Canaveral, Horizon Sentinel roared to life atop a Falcon Heavy rocket, its trajectory meticulously plotted to take it on a years-long journey past Jupiter and Saturn before reaching the Kuiper Belt. The world watched as the spacecraft disappeared into the blackness, carrying humanity's curiosity toward the unknown.